G'day, you play legends. Thank you for joining me for another vlog. But I must be honest, today may be a little bit of a random vlog. We're in a place called Brashna Gorge. This is 560 to 580 million years old. And what I'm doing is basically just finding locations that I can come back to and shoot and another time to spend sort of two or three days in this area. It's only about eight or nine kilometers long, but it's got so much history. But I must be honest, my rock knowledge is terrible. My geology of rocks is absolutely terrible, but it's really cool. You go through all this sort of beautiful dark red. This is a 560 million year old one. And further down the road, there's 620 million years of history. For me, it doesn't mean much. I need a guide to come through and explain all this. But right now, what's interests me is these disgustingly dirty and stinky sort of rock pools that I want to go and investigate to try and get a photo of these gum trees. And what's really, really interesting with these rocks, you can see from previous vlogs, is the color of the rock really comes to life at certain times of day, sunrise or sunset. That's why I want to investigate right now and find the best locations, like right in front of me here, perfectly in line into that gum tree. I'll definitely get an image of that. But very interesting place. For me, a bit over my head because my geology is terrible, but very interesting place. We will be back here to photograph it more, but today, let's explore it, location scout, and see what we can find. Mate, the stench of these little rock pools is 569 million years of absolute crap sitting around and it absolutely reeks. I don't know why they're sitting so close to it. But pretty cool color as well. Might look cool in a photograph. This scene right in front of me explains Brashna and what I'm imagining very, very well. The ruggedness of this red rock combined with the smooth rock, 560 million years of geology right here in front of me. And I love the word resilience for Brashna. It's a harsh, desolate place. The gum trees just survive of literally nothing. They grow on the side of these rock mountains and they just survive and they're big, booming. They survive the littlest amount of water. And that is what my main subject is in the background, this gum tree that is surviving the resilience of Brashna on this red rock. So 560 million years of rock with the resilience of the Australian gum tree. Then this unknown, this out of place rock pool right here in front of me that works so well, that green color. So the leading line of that red, desolate, beautiful color of rock, green, into this resilience of a gum tree. But I'd need backlighting for the morning light to give me that separation between the subjects of the gum tree and the back of the mountain there to give that sort of depth, that feel of the image. Giving the leading line of this the depth, then I need the light to give me the second bit of depth in that background. So what I'm imagining, what I've explained, here is this beautiful image that res resolves the resilience of Brashna Gorge. Always a good reminder in the Aussie Outback, just know that we're never alone. Beautiful snake just slivering its way through, trying to find some warmth from today to warm up. Looks very lethargic. Once again, that word resilience. 
I don't think I've taken a picture of that bad boy today. Might be time to go and put some shoes on, I reckon. Beautiful. So elegant. This composition works so much better. I'm lowered to the ground, got a better foreground anchor, and the subject is almost perfect. A gum treat, once again with that word resilience, and the formation, the cutout, it's like a half dome cutout. I would have light in the morning coming up from behind me, giving beautiful color to that, like insane color to that. And then this, once again, on one side, one rock formation, on the left-hand side, a different color formation. So just showing that Brashnet Gorge history trail with that iconic, resilient gum tree. This is definitely an image to come back to. And I'm super glad because only about 500 meters down the road is a campsite. So I can basically walk down here in the morning, be birds, wildlife, and this beautiful image here. Enjoy that one. So I've only driven like 500 meters, 750 meters around the corner. You can already start to tell what I'm talking about with the separation of a subject with the light. That's what I'm looking at right in front of me. There's two trees, but one in particular growing out of that rock again, which I always want to photograph when I'm here. And we're getting probably about two and a half, three o'clock sun, roughly around that time. And we're getting that separation of the rock color. So it's lighting up the rock color, but most importantly, it's lighting up the subject, giving it that separation between the subject and the background. It was absolutely beautiful. And I've got something to show you after this image, which is amazing and very hard to understand. Here is this image. I got bogged. I wanted to come and show you this, and I got bloody bogged. This is Brushna Gorge, basically the middle of the gorge. That is about two and a half meters. So when this river runs, it flows so hard. So that's two and a half meters. This gorge is probably 75 to 100 meters wide. That is a lot of water rushing through this gorge. And on the way out, you're gonna see it goes to flat, desolate land, absolutely nothing. It's crazy to think it's so dry right now, but in the wet season, mate, does she run. When the river runs, the river bloody runs in Brashna. Now I have to wait for some four-wheel drive guy to come and get me. Ah, bloody two-wheel drive, front-wheel drive. We're getting it out ourselves. I've dug it out. Now I just need to make it out. Let's go. Damn it. I need to turn to traction control. Bit of a run up, I think. Let's do this, Bolty. Come on, traction. Come on, traction. Come on, traction. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We've got there. We've bloody got there. What way? Left or right? Left. We didn't come this way, but let's get there. Come on, come on. Come on, Volti. Come on. Who's your day? Who needs a full drive, baby? Come on. That's my vault here. We're out, baby. We're out. Now, I've just driven up a little bit further from where I got bloody bogged, and this is the river. So you can see it would run all the way from this side here, all the way across to this side here. That is a long way of about two and a half meters. You can see all the trees. They all have piles on next to them. Just keep going and keep going. And this is the landscape that you're gonna witness. This is an absolutely unreal place. In the middle of bloody whoop whoop, mate. Hello. 
Look at that for sheer beauty. That is nature force at its best. Ha! Fresh and gorge, baby. So now, just as we're leaving Brashna Gorge, what I find truly, truly amazing is you've got Wilpina in the background. So that's where we just come from. Wilpina Pound in the background where we spent the last almost 10 days. And right behind me, nothing, nothing but flat land. That goes onto Lake Torrens, Lake Air, all the way to Streaky Bay, and then the famous, famous Nullarbor. That is flat plains for hundreds and thousands of kilometers. I find that so interesting. I want to go to Lake Torrens. I want to go to Lake Air. We're definitely going to, go to the Air Peninsula. There is so much to explore on this beautiful road trip of South Australia. But that is incredible. Brush the Gorge, the first time I've ever driven through there, completely all over the shop vlog. But what I want to do now is get the drone up in the air because we're out in the National Park and show you where this river system runs down going to the road where I was photographing that crazy wedge tail eagle there for seven hours on the road. Make sure to go over and watch that vlog. And then after that, I want to give you one red hot tip for something I do when I'm on trips just like this. But welcome to the beautiful, crazy, weird landscape of the Aussie Outback. Incredible, enjoy. So you can really tell all that drone footage, Brashna Gorge, which I'm standing in right now, carving its way through the barren, desolate land on the western side of the Flinders Ranges here. Turn directly around, you've got 1,200 metre Flinders Ranges. I'm at sea level right now, it's much warmer, but to think you've got 1,200 metre Flinders Ranges right in front of you, and I'm at sea level. It's a crazy, diverse landscape in the northern part of Australia. But one red hot tip I want to give you is Download an app called Maps.me. I use this when I travel all around the world and it's perfect when you're location scouting just like I am today, whether it's at home or on site. So what I do is when I go past a location that I really want to photograph but I haven't got the time as I had in Brashna Gorge, my first time being there, I will be back. I pinpoint a bookmark at that location and roughly write what it is and what time of day I have to be back there to shoot it. So I know if I come back to that location, I've got two or three bookmarks that I have to shoot at say four o'clock. I have to allocate two days in Brashna Gorge when I go back. It's a really cool app, it's 100% free. It works amazing with photo pills when you're away to work out where to shoot, when to shoot, how to shoot, which I really love doing it. I've done that on the western side now. I've got two more locations to shoot for sunset tonight and the Milky Way. So make sure to drop below and subscribe for that because tomorrow morning, 
or tomorrow and the day after we're going to be heading home so this trip is coming close to an end but there's still two epic locations still to shoot on this channel so make sure to drop below and subscribe and there's still so much more to come after this when summer hits we're going to head south go to the coast get some beach vibes in us there's still so much to explore this beautiful beautiful country and state of south australia but guys make sure to get out there keep creating keep inspiring and i'll see you guys definitely on the next one ciao